Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, I am here to do your little nightly check-in, right? This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, Cancer, and toss out the rest, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you, everyone. Look, somebody wants to apologize. Yeah, they're watching you, Cancer. Um, thank you, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing cancer. Thank you so, so much. Um, I love you guys. This is the best soul tribe ever. Okay, Divine, what do you have for cancer tonight? Somebody, yeah, okay, yeah. Somebody's realizing something here, and I feel like they're pretty upset about it. Um, this is somebody getting clarity. This is somebody seeing things for what it really is. Um, they're getting angry with themselves because you know what? I feel like um, they, they know they waited too long to come in and make stuff right. See, this is somebody who had other options. This is your little game player, Cancer. Um, they had other options up here, and I feel like this was that um, I'm going to make you chase me game, okay? Um, they, would, they would win your love. They'd put you up here on a shelf with the others. They did this with other people. And then they would hide, okay, and expect you to chase them. And I feel like you didn't, you didn't play that game. And now this person, they're down. I mean, they, they know that this that you didn't play. You're not playing, and that's that. Their smugness, their game really cost them a lot because we're at the end of a cycle now, and they're laying here in pain. Okay? And I feel like they keep thinking about, maybe they're thinking about things that they said to you, ways that they hurt you. It's all coming back on them. And they're seeing things clearly now. I'm seeing the sword not as one that they want to communicate. Besides, they're probably walking around cussing a lot. But I'm seeing this sword as them getting absolute clarity on the situation, doing a lot of thinking. And the more they think about it, the more angry with themselves they get. Um, and, it, you know, it's like they know they wanted you, but they were hoping that you were going to chase them. That's what the others have done. But it didn't work with you. I feel like this person is just arrogant, selfish. This is something that, that somebody would do in high school. And we're talking about a grown man, woman, okay? You know, I feel like they're, they're upset. They're angry right now. This is anger to me. That's what it feels like, Cancer. And so I feel like they're kind of, um, they've got their back turned on here, uh, I feel like they're standing here thinking about what what their next move is going to be. Because you know what? This little game that they played, it didn't work on you, Cancer. And they, they missed out on the best opportunity in love that could have ever been presented to them. Like, for real. And now they're pouty. See, they go, they turn their back. They turn their back. They don't want to show their face. They're feeling a little bit embarrassed here, I feel. Because they're doing a lot of thinking on this, and they're angry. They're angry that this didn't work. Well, it didn't work on you. You're not like everyone else. You were this blessing in love here. And this needs to be handled differently. You know? It needs to be handled with respect. And this person, they, they handled it like it was a game piece. They handled it like it was nothing, like you were just like everyone else when you clearly you are not. I feel like they waited, 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 waited to hear from you, and they didn't. I feel like um, this person could have promised you a life of love. They really got you to kind of fall in love with them here, Cancer, okay? They did, and, um, and you know what? Then they abandoned you, right? And you didn't hear from this person, you didn't see from them, see them anywhere, you know, nothing. They just waited to hear from you. You were left with heartache. And they did this with other people, Cancer. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. 
Yeah, I feel like they had you, they had you trapped and stuck in your mind, but you're not anymore. You're not. You're, you switched focus. Okay, at one point, this person had you stuck, only able to use your intuition. And the sad part is, is that you knew, out of everybody that you knew, and everyone who was involved, no matter what kind of love you gave to these people, you were in this one alone. No one came to cut you out of this mental entrapment. No one. Not a single person came to help you out. Not a single person gave you any information about what the crap happened. Okay, so you know what? You just focused. You switched your focus. You're really good at um, transmuting and, and trans, uh, like, uh, transforming the this, this situation for yourself. You know, you switched focus and you started working on you and your stability and your home and your family. The things that you had there before you that you appreciated, you continued to grow. And now you're sitting um, on the, em uh, sorry, I want to say empress. So I feel like you guys are divine feminines, honestly. But um, <laughs> you're sitting on the queen of pentacles throne. This is this tells me that you're the one this person knows that you're the one and they're angry because you didn't play their game and I feel like you remain stable you remain strong uh, focused responsible dedicated committed to what you were doing I feel like here you healed yourself right here cancer you did you went from this to this like wow okay wow so you really need to give yourself a lot of credit in this healing, okay? And this person is, is seeing it, I feel. Um, and they're angry. Yeah, now they want to come forward and reunite. Now this person wants to make a decision. You know, before the, the, you know, the cups of love from other people just sort of added up. They didn't have any more space left on the shelf for any more cups. Right now, all they're thinking about is you. That's it. All they're thinking about is you. I feel like you got yourself unstuck here. Nobody came to help you in this situation. No one. Not a single soul. No one gave you any clarity, Cancer. You just, you did it. You were led. You, you had to have been. All you had to use was your intuition here to get yourself unstuck. Now this person, they can't get enough of you. I feel like they watch you nonstop. Look at how their, uh, this person's eyes are really sunk in and dark. This person's not getting any sleep at night. And I feel like now they, they want to make a decision. Before they had so many options, they were playing so many games. You didn't chase them. That confused them. Right? And I feel like they always knew what they wanted here, but... They had too many options, okay? And now I feel like this person, now they're like, now I want to decide. Now I want to make my decision, Cancer. Now I know. I can't stay away from, from this connection. I can't stop watching you. I can't take my eyes off you. You're, you're unbelievably awesome. I need to make a decision. Now I want you. Right? And this love. Look, there's that blessing. Can I have this blessing back? You know, the one I turned my nose up at and played games with like a teenager? Can I have it back now? That's what they're saying here. I've made my decision. I, I want this. Yeah, here they are, bossing up. I'm telling you. I want this, Cancer. This is what I want. Now I know what I want and I'm making my decision. Now I want you, Queen of Pentacles. Right? This person knows they can be happy with you and all, but this they, they know with you they can have this ten of, ten of Cups. Okay, now this is the ultimate wish-fulfilled kind of life. But, I mean, when you were over here in peasant clothes... And they thought that you were just like all the others and wanted to toy with you and leave you. You know, you weren't good enough for them to stick with or make a decision about or talk to. 
But now that you're in the Queen of Pentacles throne and you're healed from all that hurt and, uh, and you're focused on your money and your finances, and this is the most financially stable queen in the deck, mind you. Okay, so you're very, very financially stable. Now they want you. Now they can see the qualities that you had. Um, clearly you can build something great. Now they want to build with you. You see my point? Yeah, this person's being called out, I feel, not just by you, but by spirit. They're under judgment. They're really misusing and mistreating this blessing and love. They're, they mistreated you and they didn't care. They sat here and smiled about it, Cancer, behind your back, while you sat on this shelf suffering all by yourself. You suffered bad heartache, betrayal, uh, felt like a competition. This person really made you feel like nothing. And, uh, and they kept you stuck there. You know, now it's them who's all curled up in a little ball that can't let go of you. Nonstop watching you, Cancer, and feeling heartbroken, unable to stop thinking about you. Because you know what? You're not budging. You're not playing their game. You're not dealing with anyone who's going to um, be in their ego or be arrogant or play high school chump games. You're not doing it. You are not playing. You're not talking to this person. You're not even looking at this person. And you're out here high-vibing. Look at all the yellow. You're out here high-vibing, Cancer, and now this person can't stop thinking about you. They're heartbroken. They're wishing that you, you were more in this energy, right? That softy, that innocent. I feel like this person thought you were naive. Really? You know, they want you like this, accepting, looking up to them, right? They want this. They want you to be like this. And you're just not anymore. You're not. You're standing firm in your strength and your boundaries, and you're not budging here because you know your worth. The Queen of Pentacles energy, you know your worth. Ha <laughs> ha Empress in the Minor Arcana, moving forward and getting your own victory. You've gotten so good at using your intuition, Cancer. Some of you don't even need to have um, a conversation with this person anymore. I think everything's been shown to you already. I really do. And I feel like you're going to go out and get your own justice. The chariot. You're balancing your own scales. I feel like you having this victory is your justice. You've really been through it. I, You know... You don't get to this status unless um, you've been dragged through it, okay? Put through hell, right? And you had to build yourself back up. See, and I feel like you were extremely underestimated because two hands before this one um, is the Seven of Pentacles where uh, they didn't think you were, you were worth a lot. They didn't see your worth. They thought you'd always have an empty basket, financial struggles, unable to make enough money, right? They didn't think you were worthy. They see that's not true. Um, I feel like you already have your ten of pentacles here, and the most you can have in the deck is ten. You, you are dedicated and committed to yourself now, and you've got your boundaries up. You're not going to let anybody come in and mess with you anymore. You're not a freaking game. This isn't a game. And I feel like that's what this person's been trying to play, is this game. Thinking that you were just like the others that would chase them, and you're not. Mm-mm. Nor do you have to. Um, you've got already here, I see, ten pentacles just for you. You're single. And you're holding this throne down. You're stable and this throne is here to stay. Um, you're growing something that's becoming more and more and more abundant. Okay? Um, and you're using your intuition to do it. You've been led on this journey totally. All the effort you put in, yeah. 
So you don't need anybody. You definitely don't need games because you're extremely busy here. This is the busiest queen in the deck as far as I'm concerned. And you're building, you, could, you guys could be bosses, business owners, entrepreneurs, okay? You got your own thing going on here. You're busy. You don't have time for high school chump games. You don't. And that's what this person was playing with you with. They, that's what they were doing. A grown person, a grown adult playing little high school games. You know, you're moving on. I see you guys moving forward with a, a lot of strength. A lot of strength. Yeah, I'm getting ready to sneeze, so you're getting rid of something here. Oh. Yeah, you need to get rid of something here, Cancer. I feel like you're leaving the scene. Cancer has left the building. <laughs> like, for real, you're moving forward. You're blowing all of this stuff out. Um, this, the problem is, is this person, now they see, they see you as being um, their match, okay? The king to the queen of pentacles. I feel like now they want to commit to you. Now they do. You know, remember, now they're like, I'm ready to make a decision. I'm going to make a decision. I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Now they know they want to commit to you, Cancer. Um, but this person, I feel like, as they sit here and think about it and they're angry with what they're seeing, what they're all the clarity that they're getting, right? Um, figuring everything out. They're angry with themselves, right? They're equally angry that you're out here having a victory. It's clear to see. You're extremely financially abundant here. Um, but I feel like this person has caused so much heartache and betrayal that they've really, they've really damaged this connection, okay? Where you once looked up to this person, you don't anymore. Where you were once... Um, accepting of this person and you trusted them right you trusted them you don't anymore they thought you were naive maybe it was easy for you to get uh, for them to get you to fall for them or whatever in the beginning but that's not true anymore i feel like you were really focused on this person you could have thought that this person was like the best person in the whole world there's no other i feel like you whether you feel that way or not, Cancer, you're moving forward. You're not putting any any energy into it anymore. So, you know, too much damage, I feel like, has been caused by this person. And that's why they're angry. They're, they're putting the pieces together, Cancer. They didn't want to look at their own high school chump behavior. Okay? For real. And I'm going to call it out. Judgment. I'm going to call that out because it's it's literally what I'm picking up on here. And it's ridiculous. They want you to be a softie again. And honestly, that's not going to happen. Not with the chariot out here. This is a warrior here. This is a warrior. You know, you're not that person anymore, Cancer. Not only did whatever they do to you, right, whatever they did to you, not only did it damage this connection, but it changed you on this journey. You know? And I feel like now your emotions are, are like, you've got your emotions in check just as well as you do your money. And you were never a game player. So, you know what? I feel like um, this person really doesn't know what to do. They can't seem to let go of your energy. But they're angry with themselves, Cancer, as they sit here and think about everything. Uh, because they know they just caused way too much damage in this connection. They, they, they caused you too much pain, too much heartache. They abandoned you for far too long with no answers to heal on your own. You know, and they're, that, that person from the past, the cancer, you from your past, you're not the same anymore. Mm -mm. 
no, no. And I feel like all you really want to do, Cancer, is move forward and start living your best life out here, man. You know, because you certainly worked for it and you hurt for it. Blood, sweat, and tears, right? So, yeah, you're moving forward. That's what I, and with a lot of strength, Cancer. Anyway, you guys, listen, that's what I've got for this quick update. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. Yes. Just join the Soul Tribe, guys, because we are the coolest. I'm telling you. Um, and until next time, Cancer, know that I love you, my darlings. Take care of you, and peace out.